So I am here with a tutorial. If you guys like it, just a smoky um, silver with black. I really don't like silver and black smoky, um, but I think it looks well with the lip. I'll see you in three, two, one. The first thing I'm gonna do is taking milk. I'm going to put that basically in the center of my lid and also right into the inner corner like that. It looks like this and it's called Greed. And I'm taking this like cool blue gray tone color right there and just sort of brush it into right here. You can see that? And going inward but just concentrating it right there. Like that. I'm also going to take it and put it right here. Right chill, right here. Taking from my Naked palette, I'm going to take um, Gunmetal, which is just a dark, like, charcoal kind of color right there. And use any one that you have. This is just the only one that I have, so that's why I'm using it. And I'm going to take a brush like this, off brush. And I'm going to take it and pack it right there. And don't go into the middle. Put it right there. And blend inward, but not all the way to the middle. Alright, so it's not looking pretty right now, but we're going to fix it up. Right, Elf, and it's from their limited edition color icon. Oh, they're all color icons, so yeah. And I'm taking this sparkly black, but you know what? It's not going to be sparkly. It's just going to be matte. So don't let them draw this right into my crease. So go like this. Blending it out with a brush. And then just taking more of it and putting it in there until it's as intense as I want it to be. And taking that blending brush, not hitting yourself in the face with it. So, you also want to take some of that cool blue color that you used in the crease and like kind of blend it out the edges of the black as well. So, and I'm just going to blend this out really badly. It's really nice. It looks like that. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of my lid. Alright, so say like that's like not shimmery enough for you. That's okay, because you know what? You can buy a sample of this awesome Pure Lux Mineral called Razor. And um, it is super, super shimmery silver color. It's the bomb. Go ahead and stick that onto our lid. You can even put some eyeshadow sealer if you want to make it really stand out more. But just add that baby on. It's gorgeous. You can blend with your finger. Make sure it blends in. Ta-da! Looks gorgeous. I'm adding a matte white shadow to my highlight. And it's Max Gesso. And I'm just sort of patting that on. I'm taking a white pencil by Prestige called White. And I'm going to go ahead and draw and just sort of put white right into the inner corner. I'm also going to put it in the inner corner, like halfway of my waterline. Like right there. Okay, White Diamonds by Pure Lux Minerals. It's just a nice shimmery white color. And I'm taking a small brush, like this one. And I'm going to take some of this baby and put that right on top of the white in the inner corner like that. like so lining the rest of my eye with this black liner by Urban Decay oh mother oh this thing is stabbing me in the eye my wet and mild mega liner in black 861 and I'm just going to line the 
top line and I'm gonna do a small a little small link you can do dramatic what I was what else do you like man what is Collagen. Our concealer. Party Peach. Um, Cheekers Blush by Cover Raw. Should I use this one? I don't know. Ooh, I don't like the smell. But whatever. I'm going to put that. Oh, I already contoured with my hula. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Sorry. So we just put this on to your cheeks. Oh, I dug my fingernail in there. Oh, that's bad. You know, if this hat is annoying you, I really don't care. <laughs> Because it's keeping my hair tame. Use the same little shimmery powder um, by Pure Lux called White Diamond. It's a really pretty little thing, and you should definitely get it. So we're gonna put that right there. See that little shimmer? It's so pretty. It's like wintry white. It's really, really nice. So loves it. Sorry, you can't see my eyes. It's a little weird. But I'm gonna take this Jordana easy liner for lips that means it's easy like you are it's called cabernet c-a-b-e-r-e-n whatever caber it looks it looks like cabernet but it's cabernet line this outside i'm going to take that I'm gonna have to put that right on here. Ooh! I'm using the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette to cover, um, to define the outside of my lips. And it comes with a small brush that's really handy, actually. So. Seal in the concealer with a powder foundation so it doesn't move all around on you. And this is the completed look! You can see, you know what, this would look really nice with the false lashes, but I'm way too lazy. Do I have any lipstick on my teeth? I'm way too lazy to put some on, so I'm not going to, you know, it's just a video. I'm not going to go out anywhere or anything like that, so... I don't know, I think this is a really nice dark winter holiday look that you can wear whenever you're feeling very, um, I don't know, like really fierce or um, daring. It's a nice pop of highlight right there, just makes this look even better. And I think it's best if when you put the white liner in the inner corners and then the black liner in the outer corners just so your eyes don't look so closed in maybe if you don't want your eyes to look too so small and the white on the as a highlight is really nice i like that i like that a lot yeah i like that a lot hope you guys like this i hope the light's not too bright so you guys can see this look i'm gonna go wash this stuff off my face and probably go to bed i'll see you guys later bye